Today I happened to watch a documentary on a BBC channel on YouTube. It's all about children in Malawi, how they are being exploited by Chinese. The Chinese are using them to make video and make money. Well, they are paying the children, but they are paying them very, very little cash. Indeed, it was 50 cent dollar. And the guy is saying he can make even $10,000 per day. It's very bad. And it really hurted me that those children are not going to school because they have somewhere they are going. And they thought the guy will help. And this, I think, is the issue. In Africa, when majority of people see a white person, they think he is here to help. You just show them where you sleep, how the house look, how you are going through poverty, and they will not help you. He did, for sure, let's say this. They will just use your poverty as a tool for them to make money. They will go show the whole world how Africa is poor, how people cannot even afford bedding, how cannot afford food. And for lead, you are okay the way you are. But since they come and say how poor you are, how you cannot afford bedding, it make you feel and make you think that you are poor. Yes, you are poor, but you are better off poor when you are hiding than showing the whole world because no one, and I say, no one will come from anywhere to help you. The issue is, the guy is making money and the children are having some sense. They are not going to school. That means poverty in that family will remain forever. Because if the gen the generation, younger generation, who are the children, are not going to school, that means they won't work. And if they work, they will have to work for manure, but where they'll be making only food to mouth. They will not save, they will not buy anything, they will never come from poverty. And chances are their children will live the same because they will not be exposed to the world. They will not have money to go to school. They will not even have maybe electricity to study at the night. So they will mostly not even have money for school fees. So even though those children are bright, will not go to school. Then the painful thing was when the guy is telling children to say some nasty word. The children don't know what they're saying. And the guy is telling them in Chinese how they'll say. And the children think they're saying a good thing. But the guy was racist. And it hurted me. It's in Africa. The heart and the origin of a black man. And the racism is going on there. And the government of Malawi didn't talk. The African Union didn't talk. Because why? Our readers are making money from Chinese when they go and have that road, construct road, to them it's okay, they will make money. From common monarchy, that person who is poor in that country will live to serve. Why? Why are we letting this to happen? I'm in my country and I'm gonna face racism in my country. So simply what they are trying to say is I'm, I'm supposed to be ready to be to face racism anywhere I go. I get out of my country, racism. I come back, racism. Why are we letting this happen? Why are we letting this to go far? It's okay when the racism happens outside our continent. Maybe we have gone to those countries, so we don't have that much to say. But in our own continent, the guy is so racist, even he can, he have gut. To pinch the children when they don't do what he wants. He have got to punish them. To tell them lie down and punish them in front of their parents. 
it was so hard even those parents had i don't know what is wrong with africa oh i didn't i don't know what i could have done i have no power what are you mean you don't have power the guy is pinching your children in front of you and you don't have power sometimes in, we need not to let things get this far it is so painful you see that mother saying no oh, i didn't have power the child was pinched in front of me when i take him back from the guy the guy come and take him and i was like whose child was that because if i'm saying this if it was my child i don't know what i can i, I don't know whether i could be talking like right now because we cannot let this happen chinese came here yes they build a good road but they take everything and i'm not saying we should be against chinese no no they are helping they are building road and they are building school dams indeed their influence is good but there is that percentage of them who need to be eliminated from africa they need to, they need to be taken out of africa and i don't know where we get this notion that in africa if you are white or chinese or indian you make a mistake you be deported when i'm in i'm african i make a mistake in china or anywhere else i will be jailed in china let's do the same you make a mistake in africa be jailed in africa you don't need don't deserve to be deported it's okay even though you are going to be jailed in your country but what are we showing them that for their citizen they can for their citizen they can make a mistake and go back to their home country to be jailed no we should not let this happen let wake up and address racism african leader can do so if au leaders can come together and join hard it's the only black people who are suffering lead we can change this world because even when a black person is been even when a black person is suffering in us uk or anywhere else in the world the west or europe or whatever if we can wake up as african leader and say that's enough those government of those countries will start working toward eliminating racism because we cannot change people there is those people who will be racist racist forever but there should be nowhere any, at any point that the racism is coming from the system like police are racist government is racist mps are racist it should not happen we should wake up now as an african and demand for respect when a white person or a chinese is in africa those people no one will ever stop them and ask them some stupid question or be racist on them no 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 people don't do that people respect them why are we not respected who said they have right to come in africa and we don't have right to go and to make the matter worse they come here and they still continue being racist no 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 we should now say enough is enough if you are being racist in africa we will deal with you in africa we will jail you in africa you stay here you lot in the jail you stay there until any other person who is thinking to do the same stop that madness it's so painful it's so painful really really painful as an african to see things happening in my own country in my own homeland africa it's origin of all black people but the issue is black people don't support each other once you become rich 
you don't face racism anymore so you don't care about it and one thing i'll say and i will left you with this if you don't see something happening it doesn't mean it's not happening it's happening somewhere else away from your eyes to our leader it's time to work it's time to wake up and face the life yes we need you to develop the country and everything but don't sell our dignity we need our dignity it's our right to have the dignity the lord need to be constructed we need hospital school and everything but it's our dignity first and to all africa let's stand together let's be one don't be violent to anyone whatever they're doing it's bad don't be violent let's show them we are civilized not the way they think we are we are a civilized community we are civilized human being but let's pressure our government to act if something happened there if they become racist in your own country go in the street pressure the government to take action don't put that person jail him we we'll show the world we have mean business we cannot face racism in in our home country we face racism outside africa we face racism even outside yeah so for me today i want to say this let address racism african we are more than 1 billion people we have the fate of the world we can make decision if african country can come together and be united when making decision we will go far but the fact that we are separate others don't want to be associated with africa that's why we lose and we keep to be oppressed and we will keep to lose and people will keep to be racist toward us and no where we we'll go and it will never change even had it years to come it will continue to be that so let's think our leader please please act now it's time for you in the president or prime minister in the office in any african country it's the time for you to start working go get that money build the lord build dams but don't sell your people we deserve better than this we deserve better than what we are getting there is no need of you to have that money from chinese as a loan to build road and their children are not going to school because chinese are making money from them exploiting them literally that is violation of basic human right my face should never go to internet should never ever ever appear in internet without me agreeing on it so if we don't take our children to school because they are being paid 50 cents us dollar what are we saying chinese will continue to work in africa because we will not have those engineers we are importing from chinese so what the chinese will be doing they will live here forever we will live to be casual rebara and them they will be professional who control us and without even knowing at some times we'll find that we agreed this is how the things are going and colonization will happen maybe they will not take our land or others other things we have but that's how neo colonization happen so let's work act now anyone our african influencer wake up criticize this thing we don't need the world to help us stop saying you are doing this to for the world to see no even this my message is not to the world 
it's to Africa and any black person in the world to wake up now. The world will not help us. The West will not help us. The European, Asian or Gulf will not come to our rescue. It's us who will save ourselves. No one will save us. The world don't care about any poor person. The world does not care about black person. They care when they want you. Let's make sure that they will always need us. Not want, need us. In that way, they will keep the respect of a black person. We are strong and I know we will cope up with this. Please, make sure you share the message with anyone. So that any person in African continent can know what is going on and we can wake up and pressure our government to work. They need to work. It's their work. It's their duty to protect us from internal or external threat. This is a threat. Let's not take it as a joke that it have happened once. No, no. It will happen once, then the tomorrow will happen, but because it once, it will always be once, once, once. So we will never see as if it's a big thing. Let's work. Share the message. Thank you for listening and goodbye.